Thankful to God for this opportunity. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just to share with you a word or two from the law. Gospel according to St. Luke, the 18th chapter. I want to read verses 9 through 14. I guess I need to stop saying a familiar passage of scripture because it might be familiar to me, but not to everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 18, again, verse 9. And it says, And he spake this parable mm -hmm. unto certain who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. And Jesus said, two men went up to the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Wow. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with, the, with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. Extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. Yeah, yeah. I give tithes of all that I possess. Mm -hmm. And a publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, mm -hmm. but smote his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me a sinner. Yes, sir. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. All right. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, mm -hmm. and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Yeah. Won't talk about being fooled by your own white hat. All right. Being fooled by your own white hat. Amen. One of the uh, characteristics of the 50s and the 60s was the old Western movies. Amen. We, I, I, uh, some of us uh, like those old Westerns. All right. Amen. Even when they come on now, we, we tune them in. <laughs> so we can watch them again. One of the things that was characteristic about those movies is that you could always tell who the bad guy was. Mm -hmm. okay. Amen. He didn't have to draw his gun. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to say a word. He didn't have to threat nobody. Yeah, why? Because we knew him because he wore a black hat. Right. Amen. That's, that's the way the script yeah. was wrote. Yeah. Amen. The good guy wore the white hat, and the bad guy wore the black hat. Wow. Amen. That conditioned some of us growing up during that time to think that white was all right and black get back. <laughs> uh, 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 but that's not true. Amen. Then somehow, somehow, uh, uh, watch the westerns one day and. And, and the guy that was wearing the black hat wasn't all that bad. <laughs> and the guy that had the white hat on, he was doing the wrong thing. Wow. Amen. And it kind of messed folks up. 
Because we had gotten kind of stuck on the idea that we knew who was good and who was bad. You ever hear you? And, and, and it was based on the kind of hat they wore. Amen. And it caused us, amen, to, to start looking at things a different way. We had to learn to live with some ambiguity. All right. We had to learn to live with some things that that would help us to know that things are not always black and white. Well, amen. Not as they appear All right. to be. Amen. And once we we learn that that things are not just black and white, we could learn to live to love people and to live with people in a different way. Wow. Amen. Just because uh, he wore a black hat mm -hmm. didn't make him bad. All right. Just because the color of my skin didn't define the content of my character. Well, well. Amen. I won't talk about letting your white hat fool you. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the two central characters in our story, in, in this parable that, that Jesus talked about, he was sure that his hat was white. Well, right. Matter of fact, I, I believe he was thoroughly convinced that his hat was absolutely white. <laughs> Dazzling white. Right. Clorox white. Well, Mr. Well. Clean white. Right. Yeah. Uh, 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 he he just knew he had it right. But God was not blinded by his perceived whiteness. Yeah. Let us take a closer look at these two men and see what we can learn about ourselves from them. We're going to look first at the, at the Pharisees first. Amen. Jesus chose him first, so may we all just go well, Amen. All right. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. Uh, uh, uh. It's important that when we look at this man, I want to first make clear that all publicans are bad, and all Pharisees are not bad. That's right. All right. All right. Amen. Uh, uh. Yeah, they had some ways that were uh, out of character for a lot of them, but there were those that were um, not as the sick were. Uh, they didn't hold to all of the ritualistic hard line that the uh, Pharisees held. Amen. Now, I think Jesus dealt with the Pharisees harshly because they had kept the people in bondage. Uh, they held firmly to all of the laws that God had given Moses. Now, I'm not just talking about the Ten Commandments because God gave Moses a lot of rules and laws to govern the people by. All right, all right. But beyond that, the Pharisees, I believe, if, if my memory is correctly, had come up with another 256 laws or rules and regulations that they held over the people's head and literally kept them in bondage telling them that you can't do this and you can't do that. And, 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 and in that, that was a way of them keeping their hat sparkling white Let me hear you. and putting dirt on everybody else's <laughs> hat. But by and large, by and large, the gospel is correct and when they talk about the Pharisees and how harsh they were. For the most part, they were very Pharisaic. And, and, and that's a phrase or uh, a term that was used that, that, that would imply that folk were stuck in their way. Come on, preach now. Uh, 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 it was my way or the highway. Mm -hmm. 
amen, stuck in themselves. As my mama used to say that they were so heavenly minded, they were no earthly good. Yeah. Uh, 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 Jesus in, in using these folks because he knew that we could get that way too. Oh, I know. Sometimes some of us, we, we get so holy. All right. Yes, we do. Amen. <laughs> that we keep looking down our nose at even our own family members All right. who are just striving to get in the right place. Right. Amen. Sister Phil often remind folks, I'm a work in progress. My love. And all of us are a work in progress. But let's look at, at this Pharisee uh, 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 who was willing to come to the temple and, and pray and tell God just how good he was. Let me hear you. The yeah. Bible said that, that he came to the temple to pray. And as he prayed within himself, he, he started off good. And he said, God, I thank you. And I believe that any time we start to pray, Let me hear you. we ought to thank God yeah. for what he's already done. But he thanked him for the wrong reason. Look what the word says. The word says, I thank thee that I'm not like other folks. Yeah, let me hear you. Oftentimes we get caught up with not wanting to be like other folks. And 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 there's nothing wrong with wanting to be better than you are, but you ought not use other folks as your men. Let me hear you. All right. All right. That's all right, I hear you. Amen. Because their stick might be real short. <laughs> and you will come up short. He says, I thank thee that I'm not as other men. Yeah. I think I preach this anyway. <laughs> yeah, that I'm not as other men. Yeah. That I'm not an extortion. Yeah. I'm not unjust. Yeah. I'm not an adulterer. Yeah. And then he looked over. And say, I'm not like that man. Come on now. See, some of us, we get caught up with looking at folks out the corner of our eyes. Yeah. And said, thank God I'm not like he is. Yeah. Or not like she is. Yeah. And he lost the effectiveness of his practice. Well, when he started looking at other folks, uh -huh. when you're trying to talk to the Lord, yeah. look at the testimony mm -hmm. that he gives of himself. He says, I fast twice in the week. Yeah. I give tithes of all that I possess. Mm -hmm. He's trying to impress God. Yeah. Well, I, he messed up things. Yeah. Because you can't impress God. Yeah. He knows you're better than you yeah. know yourself. Yeah. Look at what he says. I fast twice yeah. during the week. Yeah. Well, uh, the Bible says. Yeah that the man needed to fast one time a year. Yeah. That was the only mandatory time. Right. But look, God, I'm so good. Yeah. I fast twice yeah. during the week. Yeah. I give tithes yeah. of everything that I have. Yeah. The law said uh, that you need to pay tithes uh, of your agriculture goods, yeah. uh, not of everything that you have, yeah. okay? But he's trying to impress God. I need to know right now how many of us uh, put our white hat on uh, so we can impress God. Thinking that he blinded uh, by the dazzleness, dazzleness of the white hat that we have on. Uh, well, I got to tell you, uh, he ain't impressed by your hat. Uh, he's looking at your heart. Yeah. That's what really counts. Uh, this Pharisee uh, came to the temple with the right idea to pray. Uh, but somewhere 
between coming to the temple and closing his prayer. Uh, he lost sight uh, of what serving God uh, is all about. Uh, he boasted on himself. Uh, he did everything that appeared to be right in his life. Uh, but he forgot the main thing. He forgot about humility. Uh, he forgot about uh, realizing that God is the one uh, yeah. that made it possible for him to be even able to fast uh, or to be able even to give a tithe uh, or to even be able uh, to come to the temple. Uh, it was all about him. Uh, well, I got to tell you, it's not about us, uh, but it's about Jesus, uh, it's about all that God uh, has done for us. Uh, well, that was the first man uh, that Jesus drew our attention to. Uh, then he says, uh, and the publican, uh, and you know who the publican was. Uh, they were tax collectors. They were people that were not liked by the Jews uh, because of the work they did. Uh, they took up taxes uh, for whoever was in charge of them. Uh, when the Romans was in charge, uh, they took tithes uh, for the Romans. Uh, when when the Babylonians was in charge, uh, they took tithes for the Babylonians. Uh, when Syria was in charge of the mean Persians. Uh, they took tithes of money up for them. Uh, they worked for whoever uh, yeah, was in charge uh, of the Jews. Uh, so therefore, uh, the people didn't like them uh, because they said, give me what's mine. Uh, yeah, y'all know about that because not many folks uh, appreciate uh, the IRS uh, when uh, April the 15th come around uh, and you got to give up uh, some money to them. Uh, so they were not uh, well liked. Uh, basically, uh, folks hated them uh, because most of them, uh, when they took uh, for the government, uh, they took some for themselves also. Uh, and that's why uh, they were not liked. Uh, but I got to tell you, don't stereotype folks. Uh, don't lump them all uh, in the same basket uh, because some of the publicans, uh, they were decent folks uh, also. Uh, you know Matthew, don't you? What was he doing? Uh, he was sitting at the receipt of custom. Uh, he was a publican. Uh, you know uh, Zach uh, Zacchaeus. Uh, he was uh, a tax collector. He was a publican too. Uh, but look what he said. Half of my good uh, I'll give to the poor. If I've taken anything uh, from any man unjustly, uh, I'll give it back to him. Uh, so let's not judge uh, them all too harshly. Uh, this man uh, had enough uh, within him uh, to come to the temple. Uh, yeah, uh, he was a Jew, uh, so he could come to the temple. Uh, and when he came uh, to the temple, uh, yeah, the first he saw his black hat, uh, and I believe uh, that he pushed him back, uh, didn't want him to come close. Uh, but what the Bible said, the Bible says, uh, the publican uh, standing afar uh, off, uh, and I believe uh, that every now and then uh, we need to realize uh, that God uh, invites us uh, to come nigh to him, uh, but we're not worthy uh, of our own accord uh, to be nigh uh, unto him, uh, only because uh, he beckons us to come. Uh, are we able to come? Uh, look at what he did. Uh, we stood afar off. Uh, would not lift up his eyes toward heaven. Uh, he wouldn't even consider himself uh, to look at God. Uh, but he smote his breast. Uh, and what that means, uh, he was sorrowful uh, yes, in his heart. Uh, and he said unto God, uh, be merciful uh, unto me, a sinner. Uh, yeah, he acknowledged uh, his faults and his failures. Uh, his hat uh, might would have perceived uh, to have been black, uh, but his heart 
was in the right place. Uh, he knew uh, he needed God uh, on his side. He knew uh, he needed forgiveness. He knew uh, he needed help uh, from the Lord. Uh, so he said, Lord, uh, have mercy on me. Uh, be merciful uh, on me, a sinner. Uh, I believe uh, that what he was trying to say, uh, God, uh, I realize uh, I've missed the mark. Uh, I realize uh, that I'm not worthy uh, to even be called your, to be called your child. Uh, I'm not worthy to be in your house. Uh, but what I need right now uh, is the rule of your mercy. Uh, if you have mercy on me, uh, I believe I'll be all right. Uh, if you look uh, beyond my faults, uh, and my failures uh, from my lifestyle uh, might not be uh, what it should be, uh, but have mercy uh, on me. Uh, I may not uh, give uh, what I need to give, uh, but Lord, uh, have mercy on me. Uh, I may not walk uh, the way I need to walk, uh, but Lord, uh, have mercy on me. Uh, I may not live uh, amongst the folks uh, that I need to be with uh, the Lord. Uh, have mercy on me. Uh, the way I pay uh, my bills uh, might not be uh, the way it should be. But Lord, uh, have mercy on me. The things uh, in my life, my surroundings, uh, the people that are with me may not be the right folks. Uh, but Lord, uh, have mercy on me. Lord, uh, have mercy on me. I'm in a, a bad situation. Yes, uh, have mercy on me. I believe uh, that everything would be all right. I heard Jesus when he said that man uh, went down. Uh, yeah, better than when he came. Uh, it did mean uh, that God washed him uh, and made his head white. Uh, but what it meant uh, that God enabled him uh, to go back uh, knowing that that would help uh, in time of trouble. That by someone uh, that cared about him. Everybody uh, didn't look down at that God on him, uh, still is his child. I got to tell you today, you need to stop being fooled yeah. by the white hat. I don't care how good you are. You might come to church every Sunday. You might read your Bible every day. But if you're fooling yourself, uh, thinking you better than other folks, uh, well, I got to tell you, uh, when you use uh, me as your measuring stick, uh, and I'll admit to you uh, that I'm not perfect, uh, I'm not there yet, uh, I'm striving, uh, yeah, to get in the home, uh, but if you're using me, uh, then you're going to miss the mark. Uh, if you want to use somebody uh, as a measuring stick, uh, look at the Jesus. He's the one. He's the one that did everything for you. He's the one that suffered, bled, and died for you. He's the one that gave up everything, divested himself of his glory and gave up his life that you could have life. If you want to use somebody as a measuring stick, then go to Nazareth and look at Jesus, the one who gave sight to the blind. Yeah, think about him. The one that fed the multitude. Think about him. The one, uh, yeah, that will stop one day and heal a woman, uh, yeah, that had an issue of blood for 12 years. Uh, measure yourself by him. Uh, and if you can measure up to all that he's done, then you wear that white hat. And wear it proudly. But I'm going to tell you, you won't. Because you can't measure up. None of us can measure up to Jesus. All we can hope for is that his blood will keep us clean. Don't be fooled by your white hat. By what you think you are so good. Some of us think that we are, that we going to heaven anyhow. <laughs> And I got to tell you, the biggest surprise that you might have yeah. is that you don't get now. 
Don't fool yourself. This Pharisees just knew he was on his way to heaven. Yeah. But he had failed at the very foundational thing. Bible says that six things God hates. Yea, seven is an abomination to him. And he starts off by saying it's that proud look which is what the Pharisee had when he walked in and looked over at the publican. And he just knew he was so much better than he was. Thank you, Lord, I ain't like him. Well, better be careful. Better be careful. Because when you really look at that person, you might want to be like that. Because wow. that would appear my food. Remember, 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 Brother Moore, sometimes a good guy mm. did wear the black hat. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Don't you fool yourself Amen. by your white hat. Father Song and Sang, invitation to Christian discipleship is extended. Jesus is waiting without stretch on for any man that will come after him. Any man that would desire to follow him. Don't get caught up with somebody telling you how good you are. Folks that are earthly good will wind up in hell. Because if you don't have Christ in your life, yeah. if you've not been saved, I don't care how good you are, how many good works you might do, in hell you will find yourself. Because it's all about trusting Jesus, faith in him, accepting him as your savior. Allowing him to be Lord of your life. Doing it for him and not for self. Remember this publican said, I, I had a friend tell me once that the big problem in this world is I. Because I in the middle of sin keeps us from receiving salvation now. Bottom song is
Father and our God, we thank you again for this day and for the blessings of this day, for all that you've done. We give you thanks. Have mercy on us. Have mercy, Lord. In the midst of our trials and tribulations, in the midst of our falling and our getting up, have mercy on us. Help us, oh God, not to get fooled by our own white hat. Well, Lord God, that we would not look at others yeah. and look down upon them yeah. and, 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 and cast disparaging comments. Well, well, help you, Lord. Lord God, help us to yeah. use you as our guide, and you as our measure mm -hmm. stick, and keep us forever striving to be more like your son Jesus every day of our life. Lord, that we won't be concerned about our outward appearance, but what is on the inside. Lord, that our hearts might be right with you. Bless us and keep us. Bless these gifts, Lord, and bless the giver of these gifts. Pray that these gifts may be used for the upbuilding of your son, yeah. Jesus' kingdom. Yeah. To turn down Satan's walk. Then, Lord, we pray that you would Continue to be our God. Please, Father, help us. Allow us to be your children. Yes. As always, Father, we pray that your will, your will be done in our lives. And that we would be committed to your will and your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us. Henceforth, now and forevermore, and all the God's cheer to say it. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Big wave to everybody. Amen. Amen.